Hey everybody, Jeremy here with the Practical IT Channel. Today we're talking about another network scanner. The software in question is Angry IP Scanner. This is another piece of free software. It's also cross-platform for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. The one downside that I should let you know about right up front is that this piece of software does require Java to be installed. So if you are not using Java, this is not going to be the solution for you. Software is available from angryip.org. It's also available in Chocolatey if you prefer to use a package manager on Windows and you can get it on, again, your Linux distribution of choice and on Mac OS. All right, so the latest version is, go to, go to the download page, latest version is 3.8. So we will take a look at that here real quick. All right, we'll go ahead and launch Angry IP Scanner. We'll come to the Start menu, type in Angry, and hit Enter, and our window opens up. we go to IP range, we can type in our starting and ending address. And hit the start button to start scanning. And it should in just a moment. There we go. As you can see, it's pulling down a list of IP addresses. Green, obviously, is the active color. It gives you the host name and the open ports on that particular machine. There are, of course, other options you've got. This little icon here is for fetchers. And you can add other things like time to live, the MAC address, uh, HTTP sender, and MAC vendor, if you'd like. So let's say we wanted to add the MAC vendor. And then we'll just rescan that group. And as you can see, it's coming back with a list of vendors for the individual IP addresses. Now where this does fall apart a little bit is there are going to be, of course, some that are just not listed. Now, these all appear to be virtual machines. So this is actually just fine. So uh, the other things that uh, are interesting here is uh, Mac vendor ICP. No, it's not insane clown posse. And I know some of you were going to think that. Uh, this is my QNAP NAS. And I'm not exactly sure what. This is my QNAP NAS. And I'm not exactly sure what ICP actually stands for. But uh, in this case, that is my QNAP NAS. All right. That uh, brings us to the end. I knew this video was going to be short, uh, but this gives you just one more option that you can use, uh, albeit with the uh, albeit with the requirement of needing Java. But it gives you one more option that you can use if you need to scan a network. This piece of software, by virtue of being cross-platform, has come in handy for me in many places. 
But what if you don't want to run Java? Well, if you're on Windows and you want a graphical IP scanner, there is one called Advanced IP Scanner. And this does a very similar job and it has no Java requirement. So again, this is Windows only, uh, which is why I'm not going to do a dedicated video for it, but it is an alternative for Windows users out there that do not want to have Java installed on their system. Okay, so that pretty much wraps us up for Angry IP Scanner. I have one more piece of scanning software that we'll cover, and that is going to be a longer video, and that is Nmap and Zenmap. Nmap being the command line utility, Zenmap being the graphical front end for said command line utility. And for that, we are going to demonstrate it on Linux, on Ubuntu, and what we show there is going to be applicable across the board, whether you're running Linux, Mac OS, or Windows. All right. Well, I just want to thank everybody for watching. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, head down below the video and give a thumbs up. Feel free to leave comments. I do read all of the comments before they're posted live. And if you feel so inclined to support the channel, there is a link down in the description for buy me a coffee. And I am working towards getting my hands on an ATEM Mini Pro. And if you feel so inclined to donate to the cause, that would be greatly appreciated. Until next time, I'm Jeremy for the Practical IT Channel. Stay safe out there. Happy computing and have a great day.